Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This video is about osteonecrosis, which is also termed as uh, avascular necrosis. The references for this video are these. The osteonecrosis or avascular necrosis or aseptic necrosis is the death of the bone and marrow in the absence of any infection. It is a relatively common disease which it can be limited to the medullary cavity and can involve both the medulla and the cortex of the bone. There is a long list of the uh, causes of osteonecrosis. The trauma as a result of fracture or following surgery it is common. The emboli produce focal bone infarction hence lead to osteonecrosis. Uh, this osteonecrosis is associated with systemic diseases such as polycythemia, lupus erythematosus, Gaucher disease, sickle cell disease, chronic pancreatitis and gout. Internal or external radiation is also associated with this. This phosphonate therapy and corticosteroid administration are uh, uh, another cause of this osteonecrosis. Then there is a specific bone involvement and it is named as a specific disease such as Lekasperthes disease which, uh, in which only the head of the femur is affected. In Kohler disease the navicular bone is affected while tubular, tibial tuberosity is uh, affected in osgood schlatter disease. The uh, organ transplantation is another cause and it is common in kidney transplant in which there is persistent hyperparathyroidism. Then there is another term that is uh, osteochondritis desiccans. It is a disease of unknown etiology in which a piece of articular cartilage and subchondral bone detaches and breaks off into the bone and this detachment is a result of a focal area of bone necrosis. Autograft and allograft are also associated with the, this disease and thrombosis of local blood vessels secondary to the pressure of adjacent tumor or other space ossifying lesion, space of occupying lesion is also another cause and there are idiopathic causes such as alcohol intake and pregnancy. Dysbarism or dis decompression sickness is also another cause of this osteonecrosis or aseptic necrosis. So the osteonecrosis is associated with death of the bone and marrow. The bone shows empty lacunae and there is no osteocyte nuclei and the marrow shows dystrophic calcification. The uh, necrotic coarse cancellous bone heals by clipping uh, substitution while the necrotic cortical bone heals by cutting cones. Uh, this necrotic uh, cutting cone process is a slow process. Uh, here in this picture you can see that the uh, there is uh, empty lacunae which are not uh, containing any osteocyte nuclei and there is surrounding dystrophic calcification also. So the new vascular tissue creep over this uh, dead area and it contains pluripotent cells with it. And due to uh, these uh, pluripotent stem, cell, uh, stem cells over there, there is osteoblastic activity in the granulation tissue which uh, lead to the lamellar bone deposition. Although this uh, osteo, there is osteoclastic activity which uh, resolve the sum of the portion of this necrotic bone also, but uh, this uh, osteoblastic activity predominates at, as it contains numerous uh, pluripotent cells within the granulation tissue. So due to this uh, formation of the uh, lamellar bone, there is now a sandwich in which there is in the center there is necrotic area and in the surrounding tissue there is a deposition of the lamellar bone. When this area is remodeled, the, this is resorbed by the osteoclastic activity and hence the new bone is deposited by intramembranous bone formation. Then the uh, necrotic cortical bone which uh, heals by cutting cone process when there is a significant signal there uh, for the uh, vascular channels in the cortex 
there is new vascularization which contains the um, uh, growth factors and pluripotent cells for the uh, growth of various cells over there and they lead to the cutting cone formation and in which the osteoclasts they they go into the necrotic compact cortical bone and the osteoblasts they trail behind them so the, as this is a slow process so the, the there is de novo lamellar bone deposition now the morphology of the osteonecrosis about half of the cases are multifocal and these medullary infarcts are geographical in appearance because they are like uh, irregular in shape and they involve both uh, trabecular bone and marrow as the cortex has got collateral blood supplies so it is spared usually uh, the subchondral infarct is a triangular or a wedge shaped segment in which the subchondral bone plate and its base undergoes a necrosis. The, uh, the supply of the nutrient supply of the articular cartilage is through diffusion, so it is spared. This is the cut section of the head of the femur, which is showing that the articular cartilage is intact and underlying uh, uh, this uh, articular cartilage uh, the area is wedge shape geographical and pale in appearance there is slight detachment of this dead area from the overlying cartilage this photograph is showing the cut section of head of the femur with detached articular cartilage and underlying area is showing the irregular geographical pale dead tissue. The dead bone in the avascular necrosis is characterized by empty lacunae which are surrounded by the dead uh, uh, or necrotic ectomocytes. The fatty acid which are released they bind with the calcium and they form insoluble calcium soaps, hence, uh, hence dystrophic calcification. The uh, remaining trabeculae, they act as a scaffold for the deposition of newborn, while osteoclasts are responsible for the resorption of necrotic trabeculae. Uh, this is a slow process and slow process of substitution in the subchondral infarct result in the complications such as uh, collapse of the necrotic bone, fracture, and sloughing of the articular cartilage. This photomicrograph is showing the characteristics of osteonecrosis, the empty lacunae and dystrophic calcification. Leg calf spathis disease is the osteonecrosis of the femoral head in children. In adults, the uh, same area is affected and it, its etiology is radiopathic. In the both condition, the collapse of the femoral head, uh, it uh, creates joint incongruity which disturbs the unit load and as a result severe osteoarthritis occurs. This collapse of the subchondral bone results from several mechanisms. One is the, uh, there is a, this necrotic bone may sustain a stress fracture and compaction over a long period. There is development of new vascularization around the uh, necrotic bone and the rigid articular cartilage and subchondral bone may actually crack as the subchondral necrotic zone collapses so they produce a fracture the necrotic bone in the osteonecrosis is radio dense on radiology it is due to relative osteoporosis in the surrounding viable tissue addition of new bone uh, with creeping substitution, formation of calcium soap uh, which uh, is due to which is the dystrophic calcification then the actual compaction of the pre-existing dead bone. This is a weight bearing uh, anterior posterior radiograph of the pelvis and with the, with the lateral uh, radiograph it is showing that there is uh, increased crosses in the early stage and in early stage it is characterized by presence of crescent sign which is due to uh, resorption of the 
subchondral bone. As there is resorption of the subchondral bone, the 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 uh, remaining area, uh, the a viable area, upper viable area, it shows a crescent sign. In the late late stages of the disease, uh, uh, there may be flattening due to segmental head collapse. MRI of the lesion is more sensitive and specific. It allows accurate assessment of the extent of the involvement and it also identifies the uh, associated bone marrow changes. It uh, is very helpful in early diagnosis of the lesion and also predicts the prognosis. The lesion is staged on, uh, on radiological basis. It was first uh, staged in 1985 by Fiquet uh, on the basis of radiology then it was modified by Stenberg in 1995 who described seven stages on the basis of both the radiography and MRI appearance and he staged these diseases into stage 0 with the normal on non-diagnostic radiograph bone scan or MRI as stage 1 when the normal radiograph and abnormal MRI or bone scan. When there is a sclerosis and cyst formation, it is staged as 2. When there is subchondral collapse, crescent sign, it is a stage 3. A stage 4 is flattening of the head and normal acetabulum. A stage 5 is the acetabular involvement and a stage 6 is obliteration of the joint space. The stage 1 to 4 are further divided into A, B or C depending on the extent of the involvement of the femoral head. The patient of uh, osteonecrosis is usually a man of 35 to 45 years of age and uh, there are two types of lesion. One is the subchondral, another is the uh, medullary lesion. The subchondral bone infarct uh, symptoms depend on the location and extent of the infarction. It is usually pain and uh, this pain is with activity. It becomes constant if there is presence of secondary changes there is ache in the groin or hip and patient walks with the limb. Uh, if there is collapse, it will result in secondary osteoarthritis and limitation of the movement. Uh, the medullary infarct are small and clinically silent. The long-term sequelae of this uh, disease are occurrence of malignant tumors and these are osteosarcoma, malignant fibrous osteosarcoma and fibrosarcoma. The, now the treatment for osteonecrosis, the conservative treatment is not recommended because it is, uh, it, is, it has got poor result while the surgical treatment is based on the event of the collapse, whether the head has collapsed or not. So it is divided into two groups, pre-collapse group and the collapsed group. The, pre, the aim in, of the treatment in the pre-collapse group is to encourage revascularization of the femoral head while in the collapse group is the aim is to bring the undamaged part of the femoral head into the load bearing area. Uh, the uh, treatment modalities for pre-collapse group are core decompression and uh, it is the relief of the intravascular congestion in the femoral head. So it relieves the pain. Then bone grafting is also uh, a treatment modality for this pre-collapse group. In the collapse group, femoral osteotomy uh, in which the uh, there is transfer of the weight bearing area of the femoral head and this uh, thereby protect the collapse segment and joint replacement if the secondary changes have set in. A 10 year old boy complains of increasing pain in his left hip. He began limping shortly after playing 
a baseball game at school he is a febrile and x-ray of the femoral head shows a fracture and irregular densities of the cancellous bone you make a diagnosis of left calf spurthis disease which of the following best describe the pathological finding in this patient 